I understand if after that Leicester game, you're Ole out. This video is not here to change your mind. This video is here to address something I'm definitely seeing after that Leicester game. An absolute disgusting level of disrespect towards Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, both as a player and a legend of the club, and he is one, and he still remains one, and as a manager, and I want to address those problems in this video. Please, as always, you leave your opinions on this in the comments, but I, I think this is a problem that I need to address. Now, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. There is a section of United fans, no matter how small, no matter how big, that are self-entitled, that, based on these last seven games, are just washing the history of Solskjaer, forgetting where we were three years ago under Mourinho and the absolute apathy there was towards the club in every single aspect. They forget about all of that. They think Solskjaer, is, nah, get rid of him. He's not a legend of the club. Solskjaer is not a legend of the club. Some, some, I've even seen some mad arguments that Solskjaer has built a career at Manchester United off one goal. Let me just give you a quick history lesson. Are they going to Solskjaer? In a career that lasted 10 years at Manchester United, with nearly 400 appearances for Manchester United, scored 91 Premier League goals, 126 career goals. In four or five consecutive seasons, he hit double figures in the Premier League for Man United. He did not base a career at United off the back of one goal. And that goal, by the way, is one of the most iconic moments this club will ever have. The only English treble to have ever existed. And Solskjaer put the cherry on the cake with that one. But that's not the reason he is a United legend as a player. And I'm not here to try and Oli in. I'm not an Oli in or an Oli out of this whole, this fucking weird divide that seems to be being created among United fans. I don't know what you're doing. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer is one of the biggest legends of our club. And me seeing people trying to wash the history away based on what we're seeing now with him as manager it's really pissing me off to the point where I wanted to do this video and I'm not really somebody who well you know by now you know on people's tv I don't really call people out I kind of steer clear of these sorts of things but there's no way I'm staying silent on this one because again this reverts back to what I'm saying about short-termism about the fact that some of you have really forgotten where we were a few years ago. So let me rewind and go back there as well. Three years ago, we had Mourinho. We got in bed with the devil. The manager who, after Fergie retired, I would say 90% plus of United fans were absolutely apoplectic at the idea of Mourinho as United manager. Hell no, he's not part of the United way. What happened four years later? We had lost so much of that identity. We were like, fuck it. We need Mourinho in now because we tried with a Fergie replacement recommended by Fergie in Moyers. We tried with Van Howe, an astute, experienced, international manager with a style of play. No, nah, didn't work. Wasn't the United way. We went to Mourinho and we won some trophies. But when Solskjaer came into our club, our club was in the pits. In the pits. Now, in terms of competing for the Premier League and the Champions League, we're not out of those pits yet. And we may have won the Europa League, we may have won the FA Cup or the League Cup. But the foundations that Solskjaer has built in these last three years, if anything, he has cemented his status as a United legend with the work that he has done in these last three years. Now, so many of you, ah, oh, Sam, you're absolutely, you're chatting shit. We haven't, look, we're no closer to winning the Premier League. No, we're not. And I'll tell you what, the Premier League is getting more and more difficult. And we've got Newcastle coming in too. But the short termism, some of you are even saying Conte coming in. Are you mental? Those same fans, six games into Conte, will be complaining about the football that he's going to be playing. Do you not remember what happened under Mourinho? Do you not remember the feeling that we had there towards the club? No, you don't. You're just blinded by these last seven games. All you can do is shout Ollie out, and that's it. That's the solution. That's not the solution. All right? I'm not saying that I'm not saying keeping the manager's solution either, but I'm saying just blindly sacking him, blindly getting rid of him, and saying, ah, fuck off, sorry. It, no, it's ridiculous. And the amount of disrespect I'm seeing towards him is pissing me off. He bled for our club. He is one of the biggest legends we'll have at this club. And the work that he has done in these last three years 
He's rebuilt a connection to this club that I had lost, personally, under Moyes, Van Hal and Mourinho. I felt a bit disconnected from Manchester United as a club. I felt a bit disconnected from Manchester United in terms of the players that we had. With everything that we were doing, on and off the pitch, I just looked at United and I was like, what is that? They may have the, 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 you know, the badge on the shirt, but that's not Man United. And I'm not saying that the Man United way is back in any way, shape or form. Hell no, we haven't won the Premier League since 2013. We haven't won the Champions League since 2008. That's what I want Manchester United to get back to. That's what you want to get back to as well. So I don't, I don't think that your ultimate goal of winning those trophies differs from mine in any way, shape or form. That is something that we can all agree on. But me seeing this sort of disrespect towards Solskjaer, it's, it's madness. You're washing history to suit a short-term narrative that Solskjaer has done no good. And he's done so much good. Do not forget what you are doing right now is you are in this situation where you you know that Manchester United should be competing for the Premier League. Solskjaer's given you this stick that you're beating him with. He's built this squad over the last three years. Look, Mourinho had a ton of money. Van Hal was given a ton of money. Were we any closer under those two? Fuck no, we weren't. We were further away. Solskjaer has built this squad and got us back to this point where we actually feel that we can compete that's what's making it frustrating with the football we're seeing and the lack of progress that we're seeing but don't try and beat Solskjaer with a stick that he has actually given you as a fan because he's he's allowed you to believe again that United you know what if it went well this season we could compete for it that hasn't happened under any manager since Fergie until this season and that's because of the great work that Solskjaer has done to this point. And as I said, this concept that he's tainting his, his status as a Manchester United legend at the club because of what's going on right now, nah, that's complete and utter short-termism. I won't be swayed from these last seven games from what I remember as a kid growing up for 10 years of what Solskjaer did at our club. And the great work. Yeah, he speaks in, he spoke in cliches when he came in. Oh, the DNA and the culture. But we fucking needed it because we lost it all. It was all gone. Solskjaer's helped rebuild that. He's helped our, and I mean, the arrogance isn't there, but we can see it in the football. But it's just, I find it mind-blowing. Maybe it's just social media. Maybe it's just what I'm involved in and something I'm reading every single day. And maybe it's it's not as big as, I'm making it out to be. But it's it, it's blowing my mind seeing the amount of disrespect towards Solskjaer. It really, really is. And I don't know I don't know how it's I mean it only stops when Solskjaer gets sacked, right? But then as soon as that happens, go into a new manager, wait until you put that manager's head on the chopping board as well. Football works in cycles. You do the exact same thing with whoever comes in after Solskjaer. But no matter what happens from here on in. I just wanted to do this video because Solskjaer deserves and commands more respect from United fans than I think he's getting from quite a lot of them. No, I'm not saying a majority here at all, right? But what I'm seeing and what I'm witnessing here and people just washing history and ignoring everything that he did as a player and every, and ignoring everything that he did has done as a manager to this point, it's, it's pissing me off. And the great work that he has done in these last three years cannot and should not be forgotten because we're losing against Leicester and we're losing against Villa and West Ham in the League Cup. I'm not here to shout and say Solskjaer is the man to take us back to the top. He clearly right now is out of his depth and I can't now personally see any sort of internal change that's going to steer us in that direction. If that was going to happen, I think it would have happened for the Leicester game. We had a couple of weeks of sort of regenerate, recuperate, reassess and go in a different direction. Instead, we went down the same path. And if anything, we were worse than we were. Well, no, we were worse than we were before the international break. But don't just wash history to suit this narrative right now. And don't disrespect Solskjaer for what he has done at Manchester United for nearly 15 years. Well, 20 years, really. He was, he was a coach for the, the reserves as well. He's been in and around our club for two decades. And you really think that I'm just going to forget all of that. No. If anything, I would say, as I said, he's cemented his status even further with the rebuild that he has helped begin. We're nowhere near the end of it yet.
but remember where we were under Mourinho. And if you really, really did that, I think a lot of you will be approaching this situation a little bit differently.